Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new year. I do have a video that's probably going to um, come out before this one but I just want to tell you guys happy 2024. We made it and I'm so excited about this new year. I'm excited to see what Pokemon Go has in store and I don't know if you guys noticed but I did get a new camera and hopefully the quality is better. Um, I do plan on making way more content this year. I'm excited to see what Pokemon Go has in store hopefully some new things come out and yeah so of course the featured pokemon during this event is rowlet it's our first community day and honestly it's a pretty good community day it's a new shiny and it's definitely something that i look forward to every time there's a new shiny i definitely want to go out and hunt for it so i'm really excited to be able to get this one for the first one this year so if you evolve your dark tricks which is rowlet's evolution during the event or up to five hours afterwards you will get a decidueye that knows the charge attack frenzy plant decidueye will also have the opportunity to learn the charge attack spirit shackle so like every other community day of course there's going to be a paid research um this research will cost one dollar so keep an eye out for that i'm not sure what the name of it is yet but i'm sure we'll find out soon so of course like every other event there will be some event bonuses which are kind of pretty good honestly we will get three times stardust for catching pokemon two times candy for catching pokemon two times the chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive candy xl from catching pokemon lure modules activated during this event will last up to three hours incense which does not include your daily incense unfortunately activated during this event will last up to three hours if you take a few snapshots during this event um, you will get those special pokemon like always you will also have one additional special trade during this event and trade will cost 50% less stardust so make sure to get your trades in. So something that I love that Niantic incorporates is that even after the 3 hour event you're still able to get Rowlets. So in order to get more Rowlets you do have to battle in 4 star raids with Dartrix and after you defeat that gym you have 30 minutes of spawns of Rowlets all around the gym so definitely take advantage of that. I know it's really um, handy if you have jobs or if you're not able to do the three hours or you know it just yeah it's a really good feature that Niantic did incorporate by the way the Rowlets still have the shiny odds as if they were during the event last year Pokemon Go did introduce showcases so of course we have a showcase for this event and of course it's going to feature Rowlet and I'm not sure if it's going to feature its evolutions but I'm thinking it's only going to be Rowlet so make sure to get those XLs and XXLs Rowlets like I've mentioned in past videos, Pokemon Go does have an online store apart from their in-game store. So the, on their online store, they will have a box that will feature 120 Ultra Balls, 15 Silver Pineapple Berries, 6 Incubators, and 1 Incense that will be available for $9.99. Um, so, I mean, 6 Incubators. That's a lot of Incubators. And if you're low on Pokeballs, um, I would definitely take a look on this. But for $9.99, um, I'm not sure. I mean you do so of course like there's an online store there is an in-game store which we're all familiar with so in the in-game store you will have an opportunity to get boxes that feature 50 ultra balls five super incubators one elite charge tm and five lucky eggs this box will cost you 1350 poke coins there will also be a smaller box that will get you 30 ultra balls 30 ultra balls one incense three super incubators and one lore module this box will cost you 480 poke games so i mean if you're interested in that definitely take a look at it i don't think i'm gonna be buying any of these but i mean it's definitely something that's offered all right guys so that's it for this community day it's definitely a good one to start off the year i hope niantic is warming up their hands and hopefully they bring out some bigger and better things this coming year um i'm definitely excited for Sinnoh. i'm really excited for what niantic has in store for us hopefully you know they put some exciting things that the people want this year and i hope that you know pokemon go doesn't go into a drier spot than what it is right now i hope you know niantic brings something that's going to alive it again and hopefully people you know just get more into it but other than that let me know if you're excited for this event let me know how many shinies you think you're gonna get during this event and i'll see you guys in the next video